Hey guys, so on this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your um, mini site with pre-made packages and how to integrate all this together. Now ideally the best way to do this is via a website and a website integration because you can have sales pages and that kind of thing, but it doesn't mean it cannot be done. So I'm going to show you uh, the steps you need to do in order to do this. It is a bit of a workaround, so you have to bear with us, uh, but it is a way that will work um, if you don't want to use a website or if you're waiting for your website to be built. So the first thing to do is go and set up your pre-made packages. If you don't know how to do this, go and check out the master classes or check out the help section at the top. Uh, but I'm going to go on the assumption that you know how to do this and go and find the program that you've got set up. So I'm going to go for my 30-day uh, challenge. I'm going to go view and edit. I'm going to go to sell online. And then I've got everything set up on here. And normally what you do is take this iframe here and you'd embed that on your website. But what I'm actually going to do is go and take the URL out of this iframe. So I'm going to go down, follow this all the way through, and where it says SRC equals and the input commas, I'm going to click just after that, the start of the HTTPS. And I'm going to copy all of this all the way down so I get to the last number before the other inverted commas. Make sure you don't get the inverted commas, you want to make sure you get stuff in between them. So I'm going to right click, copy that. Now, if I was to put this into my browser, what would happen is it would take me straight through to the sign up form. It will look like this. I want to try and link that now to my mini site. So I've got this. I'm now going to close that off. I'm going to head over to my home page. I'm going to go down to uh, create my mini site. And I'm going to go to the add content. So step number five. And here you have your. Uh, about section. So you can type any information here about the about stuff, uh, a bit about you, all that kind of thing. And I put here uh, to join my free 30 day challenge. Click here. And then you're going to highlight the click here or the whole text or whatever you want to. Click this insert edit link here and paste that URL that we took from the pre made account into this top box. Go to the drop down menu and select new window. The reason it's best to do a new window is if you click uh, none, what it'll do is it'll just change from the your mini site to um, this actual particular URL. If you click new window, it'll open up a new one so they know to go to it. They can always come back to your mini site if you want to. But again, it's entirely up to you which way you want to do it. Click OK and then hit the bottom, go down and hit save. So now when you come up here and you click go to mini site, You'll see at the top, we have this option here to join my free 30 day challenge. You put any of a sale bump inside there. Now, if they go to qualifications or testimonials, that'll disappear. But as soon as they see the about, that's what they'll see straight away. If they click on that, it'll open up to the sign up form and they can fill in the details. Uh, and then once they fill the details in, they can then make the payment if it's free, if it's paid or if it's not, it's free, it'll just take them through. Um, and then we're all work ready to go. Uh, one thing I will say about that is if you're not using the um, uh, website to integrate that, you need to change one thing inside your integrations. So you need to take this here from the top, the URL for your mini site, head over to your PT distinction, and then come out of your mini site builder and go back to home and go to the uh, add to my website. And then come down to embed code. And down here where it says link to portal on your website, you just need to put in your uh, Peter Distinction URL into that. Uh, if you don't do that, then when people fill in this form over here, they will get directed to just a normal PTD site. You want to basically get to fill that form, create an account, and it will automatically direct them back to this where they can click on login and then log in. Um, so it's important that you actually cut that bit up as well. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you would set up um, a sales link on your mini site and use pre-made packages. Any questions, let me know.